I'm Imani Payne. Chris and Leslie have the night off. The Lady Bears are back in Waco after an incredible win against Notre Dame in the NCAA championship. Channel 6's Cole Johnson followed the team today as they celebrated with fans here at home. Cole. Hey Imani, well the fans followed them to the airport and obviously the Lady Bears brought the sun back with them, but they also followed them here to Farrell Center. Hundreds of people were out here today. It was definitely an exciting and great way to end this championship run on a very high note. Now this is going to be the third win, championship win in program history for the Lady Bears. It was a very tight game last night, them beating Notre Dame only by one point at the very end. Now. While this may be the third overall, the Lady Bears said today that some of them are looking for 2020. That's right, they want to take it all again next year. But for some other players like Kalani Brown and Chloe Jackson, they're looking to the WNBA draft just a few days away. After the welcome back from the fans, I got a chance to ask Kalani and Chloe how they're feeling about the draft and if they think the game Sunday changed their stock overall. I'm pretty confident. I'm just ready to see where they place me. Uh, anywhere is a blessing. I think it improved a lot just hearing from different reporters and stuff. Um, but honestly, I wasn't even worried about that. I just wanted to win a national championship. Well, today was definitely one to remember, and there were a lot of fans here, and Jasmine Caldwell was inside with me. And Jasmine, you actually met a very special fan today. Well, yeah, that's right, Cole. Um, I met the owner of Boulder Designs here in Waco. Now, he and his wife took a huge gamble. A very big gamble, to say to the least. To make something very unique for the Lady Bears. Now, people were running to get inside of the Farrell Center. That's how excited they were to see the Lady Bears. Baylor students, athletes, and coaches were all here today to welcome the girls home and congratulate them on winning their third national championship. But check this out. Lady Bear fans flocked to this nearly 20,000 pound boulder that you are looking at on your screen. It was donated by Butch Mogavero and his wife, who are the owners of Boulder Designs. They were so confident that the Lady Bears were going to win the national title that they made the Boulder before the team even won the national championship. We had talked about making the Boulder after they win, but we thought it'd be pretty neat to make it before, but we're scared that we'd lose a lot of money. <laughs> and I'm not going to lie to you, we were scared um, when, when Cox went down, but um, she was at the, the UConn game and said that, you know, she felt that we were truly better than any team in the nation right now and that we should take a chance on going ahead and doing it. So we did. Now, if you think the celebration is over, man, you better think again. The city of Waco is planning a parade for the Lady Bears. The spokesmen for the city of Waco say they are in the process of coordinating with Baylor about which day that will be. As soon as we find out the details on that championship parade, we will be sure to let you know. Reporting live in Waco, Jasmine Caldwell, Channel 6 News. All right, thanks, Jasmine, and thank you, Cole. Well, it's time now for a first check of